Shapes is based on an arrangement of J.S. Bach's first cello suite for solo clarinet. The suite six movements provide opportunities for expressing the intrinsic relationship that exists between music and abstract imagery. Within the constantly shifting patterns I've created, you'll begin to see, once or twice in each movement, certain images that closely resemble a particular type of abstract art. Now I'm not going to give the game away just yet, but at the end of my performance I'll name the artists I have in mind. They'll all be familiar to you, although possibly the first one will be the most difficult to identify. Thank you. 
So now, here they are. The nine artists whose work, to my mind at least, is analogous to various computer images that I've generated in a relatively random manner. At the outset of producing shapes, I had only a vague idea of where my processing codes would take me. I knew, of course, that I was exploring the subject of abstract art and artists, but the similarities between my coincidental images and the work of nine artists is sometimes striking. In saying this, I'm not intending to diminish in any way the inventiveness of the artists themselves or the imaginative processes they've adopted in producing results. They're the ones who've conjured up memorable images. The computer has merely followed in their footsteps like a slave producing pale imitations. What would the artists have thought, I wonder? None of them, at the time they were active, had access to powerful digital technology. But just think where they might have ventured had they been alive today. In making shapes, I've become fascinated by a process that has enabled me to forge unexpected links between various art forms. Not least, music, of course, because after all, it was Bach's cello suite that provided the initial inspiration for the project. <laughs>